Und als ich hier gerade so am äh, Dustlight und Lightrider stand, stand habe ich gesehen, es gibt von Lightrider auch wieder ein paar Updates. Und äh, der Piers äh, direkt von, von Nicolaudi wird uns jetzt mal auf Englisch so ein bisschen erklären, was diese App kann und so ein bisschen was zeigen. Ähm, ich werde das Ganze wahrscheinlich auch noch mal irgendwann in einer, in einer eigenen, eigenen deutschen Tutorial machen, aber Piers erklärt uns das Ganze. Hello Piers, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing very well, thank you. So, what, what do we have uh, here, what do we have here today with Lightrider? Okay, so we have the new incarnation of Lightrider. We've rewritten the app from the ground up, gone back to the drawing boards, taking feedback from the community, and we're going to have a new version of the existing app coming um, live to all the stores this summer, um, which you can see here um, will be very reminiscent of the existing app. Then we're going to have an advanced version coming out, hopefully towards the end of this year, um, which I'm going to go through some features of. Yep. And you can see um, it's a brand new interface, um, and the notable difference is these groups. So now yeah. you can group all of your patches into different groups. We've got four there, so you can do up lights, down lights, ambient lights, and whatever else you like to do. You've got your traditional uh, beam effects there, so your zooms, prisms, rotations. You've also got your sub dimmers for each group and uh, flash buttons as well. Okay. And then you've also got beam effects. So mm -hmm. um, previously, people who had uh, white beam fixtures, they were not compatible with the color effects because it was just a white light. Mm -hmm. Now we support that, so you can have um, chasers, sparkle effects, um, uh, carousels. So, um, you know, if you're trying to use your effects and before they'd just be sucking through a color wheel, now the dimmer can be affected and ah, turn it on okay. and off, so it gets a really yeah. more um, cool effect there as well. Um, so, so, so uh, from my understanding, Lightrider Flame is like an, 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 an extension for, for the existing Lightrider. How does this work? That's correct, yes. It's going to be um, an add-on. Um, the final details will be announced later on towards yeah. the year. Um, but uh, all your existing devices um, will work with it. Um, yeah, we just need to uh, finalize how it's going to be um, added. Um, yeah, we've got new uh, color pickers as well, so it's a lot wow. easier now to choose mm -hmm. colors. Um, it's a very early uh, sort of development version here, so yeah, this yeah. might change in the future. Mm -hmm. Choose your uh, colors to be included in the uh, movement effects. You can set your static effects, yeah, yeah. and you can also set the directions you want those to be applied across mm -hmm. the beams. You can also choose which groups you want to be um, included to those effects. You can split the uh, color and movements mm -hmm. over your different groups just by toggling them on and off. Ah. Okay. Which is really cool. That looks really uh, intuitive and really uh, yeah. advanced at some point. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And one other big thing that we've had a lot of uh, user feedback about is having a complete bank of presets. Okay. So we just tap here. Oh, wow. A whole page of presets. So on here, um, you can just create different yeah. uh, lists to play back. You know, if you've got certain songs, now you can run through yeah, cues yeah. and things like that. And um, then we've got a really nice uh, patch screen here. Ah, we've also, we've also some uh, where you can place it in the room, right? Exactly, yes. We've got a new 2D uh, visualizer mm -hmm. here. So on the 2D, you can see where you put your fixtures mm -hmm. and you can sort of move them around ah. to position it accordingly. So, so for example, if I have uplightings through the room, I can just position them in the room and say, okay, ah, this light is there. And then it's, exactly. it's really easier to, uh, to address it. Exactly, yes. And just to put it into groups, you just tap the uh, fixtures there and tap the group. I've already got some in the yeah. fixtures in that group already, so that's why it's highlighted. And then you can see them displayed there, so you know where they are. And then we've got a really nice uh, patch window as well. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, secret there, we're now going to also support Universe yeah. 2. So we've got two universes coming to Light Rider, so that's going to be a big change. Okay. And this hopefully makes it really easy for users trying to configure their yeah. um, environment just by um, addressing and patching their fixtures. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, it, it's really a huge news that uh, Livewetter also now has the possibility to address two universes and I think the community will love it and, yeah. and I already see that it's really intuitive and, and it's really looking similar to Dustlight and I think it's, it's really nice that you bring that also on the tablet with the Livewetter Flame yeah. version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for your, for your intro introduction of the app. Uh, so I think uh, from the timing it would be the end of the year, maybe yeah, like... About quarter four and the quarter four, hopefully, maybe quarter one. If you know, if there's some community yeah. feedback during the uh, the beta release, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and it, it's it's really really glad and really nice that you're showing that here. And I think uh, it, you really put a lot of user feedback in there. And it was uh, I, I also have got a lot of feedback, so I know that uh, what feedback are coming up. So I see that you love uh, adapt a lot of things, and I think the community will love the new Lightbrider Flame edition. Yeah, here's hoping so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Jan. Cheers. Thank you.